As you can see the paste to imitate cement or concrete AK8014 is quite spongy and a very appropriate light gray shade. We make a test placing the paste on a paper and spread it diluted with water to see what the result is. Once the sample has completely dried, we observe that it has a great texture, porosity and a completely matte appearance. Its grayish appearance makes it ideal for imitating floors and walls of cement or concrete without the need to apply a base layer of paint. On a piece of foam of approximately 13 by 10 cms, we are going to represent the floor of a warehouse or factory. This kind of foam is different from the one I had been using, it is somewhat finer and with different density, but it is equally useful. We cover it completely with the paste and later we will mark it to represent tiles. We apply the paste with the spatula ensuring that there is a thin and uniform layer. We can moisten the spatula in water to facilitate the application process. To finish smoothing the ground and eliminate possible traces we can use a metal ruler. After 3 or 4 hours the paste is completely dry so we sanded the edges to eliminate the imperfections. Then we begin to mark the base for which we will use a metal rule and describer. It is convenient to draw a line or pattern with a pencil that will serve as a guide before carrying out the work. We draw some slabs of 5.5 by 4.5 cms. To mark the pattern first we make some smooth cuts with the blade. And then repeat the process with the scriber, gently and without exerting too much pressure. To clean the engraving brush with a brush of hard bristles. Cracks and flaws are made with the scriber and with the blade. First with the blade we are slowly raising the layer of paste. Then we remove foam irregularly until we achieve the desired look. Later we will cover the damages with putty or paste to avoid damaging the foam. To make the cracks we use the scriber. We are gradually marking a fine line of irregular shape that we empty and clean until we obtain a more or less real aspect. To fill the joints we use white acrylic putty reference AK-103. The advantage is that it is diluted with water so it will not affect the foam and has a very hard finish. We place it in a well and dilute it with water to be deposited by brush in all cracks and defects. We blend the edges with a brush moistened with water to avoid staining the cement too much. Now we just have to wait for it to dry to continue with the painting process. Once dry, we prepare the ground to paint. We will imitate some brands characteristic of a warehouse or factory. We use masking tape making sure it is well fixed to prevent the paint from sliding under the edge and get well defined lines. To paint the lines we use AK739 yellow applied by airbrush. After masking again with yellow tape, we applied AK735 black to finish with the lines. After allowing a few minutes to dry, we can unmask and see the result. We are going to add another type of mark on the ground. 
In this case we use normal tape to make a circular mark with a numeral that we previously printed on a sheet of paper. We will cut the numeral from the paper and pass it to the masking tape. For this we fix it on the tape and cut it with a sharp knife. Once cut on the tape we have our numeral ready to use on the cement base. First we airbrush the base of the numeral with a K738 white. Once the numeral is masked, we apply black to paint it. After that we unmask to observe the finish. We can add some more brands in a transferable format and thus leave the field completely ready for aging. We begin by reviewing all the joints with AK074 diluted with odorless. We apply directly from the bottle and we blend the excess with diluent. We can also apply the enamel with dust effect on the colored bands to start integrating them. Next we add enamels AK4063 and AK4062 to increase the earthy and dusty effect. We apply them to convenience directly from the bottle. Fusing them later we get shadows and different effects on the base. To finish we incorporate ABT-090 oil greenish brown and AK-676 more greenish. We deposit them on a cardboard and apply mixed or separately. We try to create different effects that increase the depth and provide chromatic richness. To blend we always use white spirit or odorless. To add stains and spills of different liquids we use AK084. We apply it to a brush directly or something diluted, thus varying its density and final appearance. The last step will be to apply black primer to the edges to make our land presentable. This is the final aspect of our terrain. We have represented the dusty and all kinds of spots, in a simple way and with great realism. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it will help you with your models. We invite you to follow us on YouTube on the Interactive Channel.